people can expect to uh, start seeing direct deposits uh, hit their bank accounts as early as this weekend. Your morning news now, $1,400 stimulus checks are heading to the pockets of nearly every American. President Biden's relief bill made it through Congress without the support of a single Republican. Last night, Biden delivered his first primetime speech marking the one-year anniversary of the global pandemic. The president says he is directing states to make all adults eligible for COVID vaccines by May 1st, though he said it would take longer for everyone to get the shot. He also said if people do the right thing, there's a chance Americans will be able to have small gatherings on July 4th. About 2 million more Wisconsinites will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine by March 29th. It's a massive expansion that includes people with certain pre-existing conditions such as obesity, high blood pressure, cancer, and asthma. It's really exciting. It's a huge step in terms of moving forward in this pandemic for our residents. New recommendations for the CDC will allow people to visit loved ones at long-term care facilities regardless of vaccination status. However, visits are not recommended for unvaccinated residents in the facilities if the positivity rate is above 10% or for residents that have a COVID-19 infection. The updated guidelines also allow for compassionate care, including hospice and end-of-life situations. The Toma VA is now administering the Johnson & Johnson and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines. Veterans who are enrolled in receiving health care at the VA are eligible to get their doses when supplies are in stock. Middle and high school students in the La Crosse School District will be going back to in-person learning five days a week. The transition will happen April 6th after the district's spring break and will follow World Health Organization guidelines. The district is giving families who don't feel comfortable with the in-person classes the option of remaining online. I thought it was a joke, but then it happened again. The victim of a racist incident at Viterbo University is speaking out for the first time, saying at first she thought it was a joke. After repeated incidents, she realized she was a victim of racism. Messages were written on the student's dorm room door earlier this week, including get out of our school and you're a bad person because you're black. Students and staff at Viterbo are showing their support with a large demonstration for the victim and other people of color. The university continues to investigate the incident. A judge is granting a request to add a third degree murder charge against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, strengthening the chances of conviction for George Floyd's death. The charge is being allowed after an unrelated ruling established new grounds for it. Chauvin already faces second degree murder and manslaughter charges. Jury selection continues today. The man responsible for the death of a young man last summer in downtown La Crosse pleads guilty to first degree intentional homicide and he's facing life in prison. 32 year old Timothy Young of Spring Grove shot 19 year old Anthony Fimple in the early hours of June 27th at the La Crosse Beer House, formerly known as the Twisted Moose. Fimple, who was working at the time, died a short time later. His sentencing is set for May. Starting at 8 a.m. today, you have the chance to clean out some unwanted items and help the community. Western Technical College's Suits for Success collection will take any new or gently used professional clothing, while the school's e-waste recycling event is an opportunity to get rid of old electronics responsibly. Finally, the college's Cavalier Cupboard will be accepting donations for its food pantry. And before you go to bed Saturday night, make sure you spring your clocks forward for daylight saving time. While it is just one hour, it could have a significant impact on your sleep, which can affect your immune system, attention span, and mood. For healthy sleep, experts recommend keeping your room dark and putting technology aside at least an hour before bedtime. And temperatures are in the 20s and 30s when you step out the door this morning. 30 in La Crosse, 29 in Sparta and in Black River Falls, 28 in Eau Claire. But we do have a little bit of a breeze, not overly strong, nothing like yesterday, but it's still uh, seeing a little bit of a wind chill. 22 is what it feels like in La Crosse. It feels like 25 when you step outside in Viroqua. It is going to be a beautiful Friday. Temperatures will be right around 44 at lunchtime, mostly sunny skies. Highs today near 50, which is above our seasonal average of 42. And the weekend is looking great as well, especially tomorrow. Sunny to partly sunny, 57 for the high. Sunday, we do see an increase in clouds, but still mild with highs in the low 50s. Thank you so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Stick around for now, now for CBS This Morning. It starts right after the break.